hey guys it's oaks welcome to the channel and thank you for watching the aftermath the aftermath is always very difficult especially after a big loss like that against real madrid at stamford bridge 3-1 and we do what uh, chelsea fans do best blaming scapegoating insulting and all that so everybody been targeted mandy christensen ingolo kante manson mount you know pretty much everybody but i'm gonna focus in this video on ingolo kante because this guy deserves a lot of respect for everything he achieved in his life and what he achieved with Chelsea Football Club. I still remember three years ago, N'Golo Kante needed to go because he's old, he's not performing. We need Kamavinga, we need such and such. He came back and won title. Under Lampard, he's not good enough. He's old, outdated, blah, 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 blah. He came back, won more titles big games with big players that's what you got from somebody like Ngolo Kante but we don't learn and that tells you everything you want to know about the Chelsea fans we are fans of success we are not supporters we are fans of trophies money glory but when the team or somebody is struggling we don't support that person yesterday Ngolo Kante was world class. Today, he's an average and need to go and we need him to many. The next big thing. And there is no guarantee that you're going to get somebody from somewhere with a cool name that will come and do the job at Chelsea Football Club. Be careful what you wish for. Ngolo Kante been apparently washed out for so many seasons now. But all the time he delivers not everybody is gonna be hundred percent every single game and people need to learn a little bit of respect to our legend look at him this is just last season in the champions league how many man of the match award he got so many of them this is the guy who finished like fifth in the 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 what uh the Ballon d'Or, fifth in the entire freaking world. And all of a sudden, less than a year later, you start talking crap about Ngolo Kante. He's so disrespectful, so ungrateful, and so evil. And listen, we don't have a sugar daddy anymore that you're going to go and beg for money. Daddy, daddy, give me money so I can go buy chocolate all the time. This time, you're going to have to stick and support what we got instead of talking a lot of crap and nonsense. So, Ngolo Kante, you say whatever you want in the national team and the Chelsea Football Club. He's the GOAT. And even GOAT have off days, off time, and that is normal. That is part of life. There is nothing you can do about it. So, uh let me show you now what people been saying online so the guy who started all this angolo county head thing is a kinsella somebody that i respect a lot he put uh, an article on gold.com to say hey listen don't focus your attention on lukaku christensen or edward mendy look at this guy he is the problem look at him he been very poor. So get on him. Forget about Lukaku missing free headers. Forget about um, about Christensen horrible game. Forget about Thomas Tuko tactics that is not working and system that let us open and vulnerable. Focus on this guy. This guy is the problem. Wow. Wow. This tells you everything you want to know, my friend. So, look what he said here. It's easy 
to blame Lukaku after his interview, Mendy because of his mistake, or Barcelona bound Christensen. The sad truth is that fan favorite Kante has been struggling for some time. He start make four, though reading last uh, last night, whatever. So he gave um, this link here to go and check on goal.com so you can read the entire article. I'm not going to get there because it's going to be too long, but you can go and read how he, he gave some statistics, sad statistics about Kante. Pretty much trying to turn attention to Kante instead of checking on the real issues. You can be Leo Messi, but if the system is not for you and you are walk, you are, for example, dropping to defend, and then your statistics are gonna be awful. You're not gonna score goals. So there are so many aspects in that article that he he didn't want to mention. So he said here, he continues. Uh last night was the earliest Kante has been served at Chelsea when tactical quotation reasons are cited. Tuchel backed him to find form for a big occasion and blah, blah, blah. Listen, Kante is a big occasion guy. You like it or not, even Man City will tell you. Let me share with you something here. Manchester City, um, Manchester City tweet about Kante, right? So it's going to tell you everything you want to know about this guy here N'Golo Kante. He deserves a lot of respect. I don't know why people are trying to disrespect Kante. Look at that. This is the final of the Champions League. This is Man City. No changes at the break and little chances so far this half. Kante has been everywhere all game. If we can bypass him, we might be in business. So this is the guy who won us less than 12 months ago the Champions League on his own, dominating the midfield of Kevin De Bruyne and other the boys. He completely destroyed them. So when I see people disrespecting Angolo Kante, it hurt me. It really hurt me. And you will see some people jumping into the bandwagon and say, oh, finally somebody is telling the truth. What the freaking truth he's saying here? There's no truth here. It just try to, 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 to fix your attention in the wrong target. You know, what N'Golo Kante was doing in the number nine position, in the number eight position, in the number 10, in the force nine as a winger, do you know exactly what position Engolo Kante played yesterday. Why he was so high? Why can't you just leave him in his natural position where he can impact even more? Why can't we do that? Why Engolo Kante needs to play in different positions? And why he needs to save the entire freaking world? So Engolo Kante is victim of many things and I don't think anybody in his uh, in their right mind can go and blame N'Golo Kante in my opinion. So this is me here. Flip Flop FC we are. We, including me, Chelsea fans. We are Flip Flop FC. Only support success wins. Never support when in struggle. Even people in the stadium, they sing only when we score. When we are struggling, they don't sing. When Christian Pulisic, Kalum Hassan Adoy, okay, being played out of position and having some bad time, we don't support them. We blame them. We, 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 we fail to address the real issues at the team. We just attack certain people because we are so spoiled. We always want, 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 but now we don't have a sugar daddy anymore. So, Certain people are hiding behind big names to push their agendas and say, oh, I've been saying it all this time. N'Golo Kante is washed. He's not good enough anymore. 
So, like I say, people, you can get on the guy that you don't like, and you, you don't want to talk about the real issues. And yesterday, because uh, Jorginho Frelo had an assist, all of a sudden, he's the goat and he needed to be on the pitch. If you are honest enough, and if you watched the the whole the whole game, you will say that Kante was better than Jorginho, but Jorginho had an assist, therefore he's a, he's the god. So that's what you got in today's generation. People who watch 15 seconds of TikTok and know football better than anybody that watch 90 minutes of football. So all kind of people here talking a lot of nonsense, but also other people are making sense by saying this is not fair to scapegoat somebody like Ngolo Kante and Ntuameni, man, you can say whatever you want, but you never seen him played in the Premier League. Be careful what you wish for and even Ntuameni or whoever you bring at the club will need time to adjust and adapt in the Premier League. Listen, people, it is what it is. Leave your comment and let's keep the conversation going. Do you think that Engolo Kante was the problem? Or who's to blame? I mean, just imagine if Manson Mount, Lukaku, even Harvard, all of them scored those clear chances that we had. Were you going to blame Engolo Kante? Our midfield was non-existent because N'Golo Kante was told to push and, and be out of position. Are you going to blame the system or the person who is giving instructions? So, so many things to take to consideration here. But of course, you are going to, to focus on what is fitting your agenda or what narrative you want to push. But... It is what it is, man. Listen, let's keep the conversation going. Follow your brother on Twitter and Instagram, The Green Turf, and I'll see you next time.